What's up guys? So this part of the channel I really want to create tutorials to help you guys um, really hone in on the technical side of things. Um, I feel as though as a creator the technical side is uh, just a time consuming part where it's really you just got to dedicate the hours to it. Once you get that technical side down then you just got to let your creativity flow. I'm already talking more than I want to so with that being said hopefully you guys get some knowledge out of this and hopefully it helps you. So as you can see, this is the final product. I took this picture for Movement Watches, um, which is this really cool brand that means a lot to me. Um, I'll get more into how I developed that connection um, in another video. But I shot this photo um, as part of like a travel project that I'm working on with them. So let's jump right in. I opened this in uh, Adobe Lightroom. Um, and as you can see, the rainbow is not photoshopped. <laughs> It was actually a reflection of from the sun to the camera light. Um, so what I usually do is I'll go up here and I'll put edit in Adobe Photoshop. I like to do this because then all the changes that I make in Adobe Photoshop will eventually when I save it, they'll come up in Adobe Lightroom. So as you can see, um, this is the original in Adobe Photoshop. And what we're going to want to do is if you look at the top, there's that, um, there's that little chain link fence. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to do a sky replacement first. Um, we're going to go edit, select a mask. Um, and we're going to take out that top layer. We're going to select the refine brush tool. Um, and then we're just going to take the refine brush tool and go over like a lot of the edges. Um, it can kind of be pretty rough um, because we're going to go back in and we're going to go into the details of it. Yeah, we're just going to play with this, uh, get it as close to what we want. Um, and there we go, we have the selected layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that, um, and then deselect that. And then, as you can see, we missed a few spots um, at the top. Uh, so we're going to zoom in and we're going to use the erase tool. Um, we're going to, oh, it's really big, so we're going <laughs> to, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> We're gonna go in and we're gonna take those away. Just, I mean, we have it on a flow of 5%, so we could kind of just mess with it a little bit. Um, but it doesn't have to be too, too perfect. Um, but as close as we can get it, I like doing the 5% because it, it'll take it away a little. Um, that's looking good right there. Um, so as you can see, I have another asset, just a sky replacement. I'm gonna throw that behind this photo, I'm gonna paste it. Um, and we're gonna stretch that out so that it fills up the photo. Um, and then we're gonna throw that layer under our original layer and move it around, get it to right where you want. Um, I don't want too, too many clouds in it. Um, so that looks about nice. And don't worry about the colors being a little off, like we'll play with those too when we put it back in Lightroom. Um, so that's looking all right. And what I like to do is I also like to throw on these like scratch effects. So I'm going to take that image that I have, throw it onto this on top of this layer. I like to stretch it out so it kind of creates like this uniform um, feel. Uh, select enter and then drag it, get it to the spot that you want. You're going to go put it in screen. Um, that basically takes away the blacks. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna use the race tool. We're gonna pump it up a little bit. 1040 is good. We still have that 5% and we're just gonna erase some of it to get it off of our um, main part of the image that we want people to see. We want to have the scratch effect, but we don't want it to be super predominant in our image. At least that's what I'm going for. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. Yeah. Move it a little bit to the right. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So, once you have it how you want it, um, what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah, so we're going to click Command S um, to save it. And while this is saving, it's actually going to save all the changes that we made in Photoshop. And, uh, and it's basically going to 
take those and save them into Lightroom. So when we go back into Lightroom, we'll see that our image um, is actually saved with all the effects and everything that we did to it. Sky replacement, throwing on the overlays. I'm gonna go in and select my, uh, I already have like a preset for this. And you can see all, all of the numbers I'm using, um, like brighten it up a little bit. So I like to have a little bit of contrast in there, Br bring down. Let's go bring up the lights, bring down the darks, give it more of like that impactful look, um, bring down the shadows. And I'm gonna just play with the blue in this so it kind of matches that the blue and the rainbow. Um, let's go with the luminance and bring a little, a little lighter is actually better. And yeah, you just kind of play with the colors. Um, that's why I really like Lightroom is because you can kind of manipulate the colors any way that you want them. So that's looking good. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I have my own, um, when I click this brush, I have this a sun flare. Um, as you can see, temperature 65, exposures 1.7, and here are my brush settings um, if you want to create your own. And I'm going to throw that at the top of the image. And you're going to see it's going to make, it literally makes this image 10 times better. Well, always charge your batteries because in the middle of your first tutorial, your freaking camera is going to die. Um, but it's all good. Uh, so getting back here, where were we? We're actually going to, once we get the colors we want, we're going to actually export it. Um, so I'm going to put this, I usually like to use this to organize um, this kind of format and I'll just put rough draft at the end because we're not going to be done with this because we want to add the text um, to give it that movie-like uh, feel. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab that photo that we just exported. Um, and then I'm going to throw that into Photoshop. Um, and now it's kind of has like the color correction, all the effects we need. Um, and as you can see, comparing it from the image that we want, like that overall feel to what we're going to get, we just got to add in like those text layers and we're pretty much done from there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this layer. Um, and then I'm going to use the text tool. And then I'm going to go in and I'll just type sunset cliffs. Um, and as you can see, uh, I'm using Nimbus Sans Extended, uh, black, I'm going to make this like 36, that should be a good size. I'll put that in the center. Mm, yeah. Uh, and as you can see the little pink markers like will kind of help you uh, center your text. Um, and I'm just getting a little perfectionist in me trying to get it centered. That looks good. Um, so then we're going to add another text layer um, and we're going to put a uh, warning. Oop, if I could spell. And then we're going to go, that's actually going to be the Arial font. And then we're going to make that a little bit smaller. Um, and I can finish it with this. Um, keep. Yeah, I just like to add like different like little um, details in this because it it really helps it kind of get like this like super ambiguous like feel to it. Um, I really like, I've been trying to get more into graphic design, um, just playing with it. And I'm going to make this warning uh, bold um, so it kind of sticks out a little bit more. I'm going to put that. I'm going to drag that to the corner. Perfect. That's looking good. And my camera. I think there's a ghost in my apartment because for some reason the camera just stopped recording. Uh, but whatever. Uh, so let's keep going here. Um, we're going to go into uh, Sunset Clips Open Ceiling Cave. We're going to click Maps. Um, and then once this loads, you're actually going to see the cave exactly where it is if you guys want to go. Um, and then I'm going to right click this loads. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to put what's here. And as you can see at the bottom right here, um, you'll find the actual coordinates. Click on that. Um, see the coordinates up top right here and then you'll get the exact ones. Well, at least close enough. That's a house that's right by it. <laughs> um, uh, I'll use that. And then I'm just going to open a new text layer. Command V to paste that. Um, I'm going to go Nimbus Sans, 
Um, and I'm gonna go regular italic. Let's make this a little bit smaller, Maybe like a 24. Um, and then we'll move that under the sunset cliffs. Okay. Looks, that looks about center. Um, and then we'll just move the sunset cliff center. Um, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little smidge. <laughs> um, and then from there, yeah, it's looking pretty good. But as you can see, it's a little bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on top of this layer. Um, actually, before that, let's go to the Sunset Cliffs, and we're going to go to Help, and then add a glow. I just usually type in glow. It's the quick way. Um, you can see the difference right here. Put it at 35. It kind of makes it like just pop a little bit more, um, especially when we're about to do this. Um, go on that layer, click Brightness um, to add the brightness, and we're going to actually take it down to maybe like negative 60. And as you can see from there, um, it really makes all of the text that you put within your photo, it makes it really pop out and just stand out and that glow now like kind of has this like ominous to it which is really nice. Um, so when you go back and forth between the final and this one that we just made, uh, this one kind of still has that brightness to it at the top which I really like because um, I actually went in and I exported it with the text and then I added that sun flare to it. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to export this, um, and it's kind of a big file with all the effects and everything. So I save this as final, go into Lightroom, we're dragging our photo, and click Import, and go to Develop. All we're going to do is add that little sun flare, click the brush tool, uh, have it kind of big, throw it up there, scoot it on up. Uh, as you can see, it's a little more yellow right now, so we're just going to drop that uh, temperature to like, mm, about a, maybe like a 9. Um, then we're going to move it up. Mm, that looks a little bit farther. Nah, let's we'll just put it up so that we can still see the Sunset Cliffs title. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, last thing is just resizing it. Put it into click the Crop Tool 4x5 for Instagram purposes. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you get a, there's a little bit of everything in this. There was sky replacement, there was overlays, there was text, um, glow effects, uh, color corrections in Lightroom, how to add sun flares. Um, so I hope you guys really took away a lot from this. I think in the future tutorials I'm going to kind of break it down um, with like one little tool and then another tool and another tool. But this is the first one where I just wanted to show you guys this is how you recreate the image that I made. Um, and yeah, like and subscribe if you can and hopefully this helped you in a way and I can't wait to see what you guys make next.